All right, guys, we're going to go into a pretzel. Now, uh, the, the common name used in the strength and conditioning uh, profession for this exercise is called a pretzel. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I just don't like to call exercise after people's names. Um, it looks kind of like a pretzel, so we're going we're gonna to roll with that. Um, and, I, again, there's, there's a nuance to this that I'm adding that I think just gives you a little bit more gain on the exercise. So I want to walk you through that. So the, the traditional pretzel that you'll see people do is that they're going to take this hand and they're going to pull the knee kind of down or they're going to hold it down. Some people even take it to the floor or they'll take it to a block. They'll hold it down here and then they grab their foot and they initiate a left rotation. Okay. So that's all fine. Um, you're going to get pretty good rotation through the body. You're going to get uh, some stretch in your hips. Um, that, that's great. But I feel like it's much more effective if you learn how to self-regulate and control that movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this movement by initiating a stepping forward function with my left lower body. And so I'm going to step forward with my left lower body. My right upper body is re reaching or elongating in that direction. Now, you'll notice I'm not just like I'm not locking out. I'm initiating an idea of a forward movement here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll and elongate the back of my neck until my head is on the ground. Okay. And I'm just going to hang here for a second as I elongate the bottom of my right foot. So it's like I'm, uh, if I'm, I call this the Heisman position like the Heisman trophy. So he's in the full sprint going to, going to hit someone as they're going forward. So I'm going to initiate length as if I'm driving off of my right foot like it off toe off so i'm planting through the floor with my toes and then i'm going to initiate length from the bottom of my toes through the crown of my head and i'm just going to take a couple breaths as i elongate in that direction and take my right hand and step back or sorry my left hand and step back so breathe exhale get a little bit longer now from here Take the right foot and reach it backwards. Now, not to the hand initially. Reach the foot behind you. And then breathe. Exhale. Reach a little further with the hand. Reach a little further with the foot. Okay, now, if you're really flexible and you have outstanding control, you'll be able to get to the foot without uh, needing to cheat. But most people are going to need to cheat to get to the foot. And I would suggest that's probably a good thing to do, to get to the foot. And I'll show you why. Okay, so you'll try this position and you're going to try to reach the foot and the hand to this space behind you. And you probably won't get there. Okay, but then I'm going to let you cheat. So you're going to let your head come up, grab on to the outside edge of your foot with your palm facing up, and then let your foot roll to the ground and your shoulder roll back. Now, you'll notice that I'm keeping this leg stepping forward. That actually takes a lot of work and control. I feel a lot of action going around my abdominal wall. My hip is stabilizing pretty hard to hold that forward direction. When you start doing this, you're probably not going to have that control or that strength. So what you can do is you can take your hand around the shin. Now, most people will take the knee down to the hand. Don't do that. Keep the knee forward, not down, and then meet the hand to the knee. And then the knee is actually going to engage forward into the hand. The hand's not going to pull the knee down. Now, the hand will help hold the knee here. It's going to help hold the knee here. It's not going to do all the work. So the knee is still stepping forward to the hand, but it's not doing all the work, okay? So you hold there, roll it back, think broad shoulders, nice and long through the spine. And then as you breathe with each breath, you're going to think of the stepping forward function through the left lower body into the right hand. And you're going to think about the stepping behind you function of the right lower body behind you and the hand will match that by going behind as well ok 
Okay. So that's the pretzel. Super challenging exercise, but it's really great um, in the context that you're working on a lot of stuff. You're working on mobility through your spine, your shoulder girdle, uh, and it's really great actually for the extension and rotation through the stepping behind you lower body. So very often people have a restriction in extension and internal rotation in their hip. This exercise is really, really good when done properly to mobilize and open up, free up that extension and internal rotation of the hip. Because remember, the foot's rolling to the ground, right? All right, that's the pretzel. Have fun with that. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think.